Virgo, let's find out the tea between you and your person. What's going on? Let's find your person and see what they got going on. Okay, let's see what this person is doing. First, we're going to get some overall energy between you and them. Let's check the situations. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Y'all know I get all the tea. I get some love stuff too, but I get the tea, baby. I'm here to help you heal and shine a light on these problems that may be lingering around that you don't see. You know what I'm trying to help you do? Avoid tower moments. Unless it's something that's showing that you have had great growth and you learned the lesson. But like these karmic moments that create tower moments, like no. Stuff that you can avoid, no. I'm trying to help you avoid that. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Gods for Virgo. Hey, my lovies. Show me messages for Virgo. This is Empress Meek. Hey, y'all. Hey. Y'all know me. You know, you know me. If you don't know me, welcome to the family, baby. Hit that subscribe button. Wherever you have Virgo placements in your chart, baby, this is the family for you. Okay. We open you. Oh, I said we open you. We open our arms and welcome you with love. Let me stop being extra. Look, less is more. Let me just shut up. Okay. Look, okay, let's see. All right, y'all, let's get into the tea, okay? You've been waiting for the tea all day. I've been taking care of me all day, okay? Now I'm taking care of you, okay, okay. Let's see. Sweet, so uh huh? <laughs> all right, good news. Good news is coming. Get happy and excited. Winter season. I'm tired of being alone. I want someone who knows my worth. We got online dating. Let's go. Okay, somebody said good ones, bad ones, fill them out, okay? Use your discernment. All right, you try online dating, and that's okay, but use your discernment, like this card is saying, because not everybody is who they seem like they are, okay? Um, and then it says, should I stay or should I leave? Somebody's contemplating on what to do regarding this relationship. It says time to make a decision. The ball is in your court. So you got somebody on hold. <laughs> somebody said hold the line. I'll be right back. Let me explore these options over here because you you talking slow or you just not talking, okay? And that's just not what we're doing. Somebody is tired of it. <laughs> Secrets. Somebody talking to somebody and it's a language barrier too. Oh, poor thing. Somebody is struggling. Secrets. It says deceitful, misleading, don't want you to know, schedule, find out. Mm -hmm. You know what? Before I even pulled these cards out, this is why I came right back with this reading um and i need to get to um the things that i were, was doing before i came to do a reading but i felt y'all pulling at my energy somebody like so i was just like all right let me do a reading but anyway i felt that somebody definitely thought you wouldn't find out about something and they can't hide it from you anymore now we're about to find out exactly what this is let's get some more energy on this person whoever this is understanding talking things out here and one another compromising so well, this is what they're hoping for because they think they're going to keep, they think they're going to be able to keep pulling the wool over your eyes, but all of that stops today. Um, whatever this is that this person thought they were going to get away with, they're not getting away, away with it. I feel like something has been nudging your intuition the whole time and now you're coming out of, it's like, you know, that, that phase where you're in this, um, phase of getting to know each other it's like that butterfly phase where a lot of things get overlooked because you don't want to um you don't want it to be bad hey sweetie what no no what let go it says make room for the new beginning that's on its way to you now so some of you guys it's safe to let go of this situation what you don't like this? You you sense a liar, don't you? Stop pushing my thing. Don't do that, sweet. Be a sweet girl. Sorry, y'all. Sweetie demanding attention. She said no because this person is a liar, okay? She came over here and said no. So, let go. All right? So, this person is going to be trying to talk to you about whatever this is that they're trying to cover up or they're going to try to talk to you to deter you from asking about it again move on see it says this person is unavailable and a waste of time all right so whoever this uh, is this is that you may have met online they're keeping secrets like and uh, we're about to find out what they're hiding okay 
in the winter season i'm tired of being alone clarify by give it time my loves everything in divine time and thing just let things flow something is going to turn out better than you thought um and if this ties into the reading that we did previously when spirit was just encouraging your heart about um getting off the hamster wheel and not repeating cycles and things like that trust divine timing that everything is going to work in your favor you actually do have some good things coming that was for virgo collectively you okay okay so <clears throat> honeymoon popped out too and it says honeymoon phase attending someone's wedding so somebody could be invited to a wedding and honeymoon phase just like i was saying that's what you're feeling with this person and they think that this is when they can shovel all their lies on you. And just because the feeling is in the air of bliss and passion that you'll overlook it. But no, online dating, not with me on your side, baby. Okay, online dating. Somebody's trying to manifest this opportunity, making it work. Somebody could be dealing with the air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, possibly. Somebody could be dealing with another Virgo. I'm feeling magician energy. Should I stay or leave? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Y'all see what I'm saying? All right. You just can't. You got to be careful. I, I really feel for the people who date online because it's so tricky. It's so much easier for people to just lie about their whole life. Even their picture could be fake. So it's like something very tricky about this. Um, and if you guys are thinking about moving closer to this person, change of residence, moving in with your partner, do not do it. Don't do it. Look at your angels. Your lost loved ones is here like, uh-uh, what is happening down there? Look at this, okay? They watching over you. A lot of you guys seem vulnerable, but you're not. You know, people think that you're vulnerable. They think that it's just you that they can get over, but it doesn't work like that. All right. But your guardian angels are definitely watching over you. So those of you who cried and you grieved over your lost loved one, I'm sending you my condolences, but also reminding you that you get help in high places. Yeah. So I just wanted to remind you of that. But let's go ahead and get the tarot in. Man, um, I was about to say in manifest. <laughs> yeah, manifest some answers. Let's go ahead and clarify this um, energy. We're going to use one deck for the top part and the cards. Go ahead upstairs in your little room. <clears throat> she storms up the steps and everything's stomping around like a teenager, y'all. This cat is a trip. She actually is a teenager. Um, She's a trip. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to use one deck for the top. Don't come down here with that mess. Then she come right back. Be good, okay? You okay? Holy Spirit in here. It's okay. What's wrong? Mm. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's see. So let's find out what the good news is. Dang, the seven of swords. Somebody really is keeping secrets. They're not, they're not telling the truth. Somebody is very deceitful good news this is not for people who are in a happy healthy relationship um, it's just not um this is to help people that are in a relationship where they can't see what's going on some people can't afford a reading and that's what this is it just pulls energy for people who need assistance on their path um a lot of you are going through different the same situation at different times um a lot of you are experiencing the same type of energies with the same type of people but different people and different and you guys are in different places so the sun energy something is going to come about to make you very happy all right you're going to get some good news some type of positive movement forward something that you've been waiting for with the sun energy for a lot of you guys this is something that you don't expect it's going to surprise you Let's say winter season, I'm tired of being alone. I want someone who knows my worth. What is this about spirit? Show 
Virgo. All right, so a recognized opportunity, but it came in the reverse. So disconnected goals. So I, this is talking about you, what you're asking for and what you're doing is not in alignment. So it's like whatever you're asking for, you're not positioning yourself to bring it in or you're not making room for your blessings. So that's what this is talking about. So if you're manifesting love, make room in your life for love. You can't make room in your life for love if you're dealing with the past or holding on to past memories or anything like that. All right. Um, you got to break the stagnant routine. It's time to start something new. Okay. This is what spirit wants you to do for this online dating will of fortune, a lucky twist of fate. So I feel like you guys felt really happy about this, really excited. You felt like you found somebody. All right. When it comes to you meeting somebody, the person that you deserve, there actually is going to be a twist of fate. Y'all you're going to meet somebody. And once you meet this person, this is going to be somebody who compliments you. This is going to be somebody who vibes on the same frequency as you do. This is somebody who is mature, a mature love, an equal give and take. Okay. Should I stay or should I leave? Who is this? Somebody is wondering what should they do? Empress. This could be somebody who is a Taurus. You could also be talking to a uh, water sign. Somebody's trying to want, figure out if they're going to get an opportunity with you or not. Did you leave somebody in the cold? Is somebody here who they, so this person is confused and it's because you picked up on their line energy. Because should I stay or should I leave? You started pulling away. This person thought that you guys were going to move forward. But you started pulling away. And some of you guys is definitely a Taurus or an air sign or a water sign. But whoever this is, they thought that you guys were going to move forward. But you started pulling away. And this person is heartbroken behind it. Um, I feel like you started asking questions prying questions or questions that trip them up or make them admit the truth or pull back this person thought they had you fooled for some reason hmm i feel like because with this ace of swords and the heartbreak it's like they thought of ideas like but these ideas could break your heart it's some type of communication that came about that was heartbreaking that was hurtful Something happened here where you pulled away from this person or you forgot about them or something like that. This person is wondering what what's happening. And it's because you understand that they're keeping secrets. They want to talk about this, but you see that this person is a liar. Show me secrets. Two of coins. Working on it. Somebody could be balancing more than one option. Um, somebody could definitely be trying to work on this with you and really set the priorities and try to make you a priority as well as whatever else they have going on. Show me two of, of pentacles. What's the two of pentacles representing spirit? What's the two of pentacles right on? Ten of cups, lovingly complete. Um, the ten of cups also represents emotional fulfillment too. Somebody wants this victory with you. I just saw six of wands. But it's like they're refusing to make a decision, a difficult decision. That's because they have to drop one to keep the other. And they're not talking to you about this. So they're having difficulty trying to figure out exactly who to let go. All right, let's get the other deck of cards. Yeah, ten of wands, a heavy burden to carry dealing with this person. Thank you guys for liking our videos, sharing our videos. Let's see. Show me move on. Someone is unavailable and a waste of time. Wow. Endings bring new beginnings, self-mastery and completion. So it's like you hip to this game. Basically, the, the, the energy here from the cards are telling me and telling you that You've been here before. You already know the vibes. You know what to do. And it looks like you're going to close this cycle. Um, 
Some of you guys didn't really want to. What? Sit down, girl. <laughs> yeah. Aggression and battles, control and dominance. So somebody was way too controlling. You started pulling back your energy. I feel like somebody showed you their aggressive side. They got aggressive when they saw you pulling away. Because this person knows that you caught them in their lie. The liar came out like three times. And then we got the King of Wands. This fell in my lap. So this is some type, This is an alpha male. Alpha energy. Yeah. And this is who you could have ended it with. Somebody dealing with the King of Wands. Having an argument with them. Show me give it time. Spirit is saying, give it time, Virgo. Just take your time. Don't rush it. You're going to get exactly what you want. You're going to get it. Okay? Don't rush it. Manifest an air sign. Page of Wands. Somebody is thinking about you. Yeah, this person is thinking about you. They're trying to come up with an idea of how to manifest this. Somebody is healing. They could be healing from this heartbreaking conversation that you guys had or some heartbreaking news. Something that something that happened. Something that, that was told to them that really hurt their feelings. And I feel like this was whatever was said. Yeah. Somebody's recovering from this. Thinking about you. So whatever communication that you guys had really hurt this person. Like it cut them. Like it hurt their heart. But this is the consequences from them trying to play games and be sneaky and hide things. And as difficult as the decision is. You're not going to sit up here and argue with somebody that you know is lying. And once you found out about this lie or whatever the case may be, it looks like you decided to close this out. But this person wanted to argue and fuss and fight about it. They wanted to try to prove their case or plead their case or just argue with you. It's just like they became very dominant and challenging. Like they were challenging what you said and then everything you said, it was just like... I don't know, really petty argument of energy just because they got caught. And this person wanted to try to force their story onto you when they know it's a lie. Show me liar. The fool. Knight of Cups. And judgment. Whoever this is that you started a new beginning with. Somebody is a water sign, could be an Aries, could be a King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles underneath the bottom of the deck. This definitely could be you visiting your reading, checking out the scenery. Like, wow. Okay. This is what I got to deal with. <laughs> yeah, for some of you guys, you're still in the honeymoon phase. Still in the honeymoon phase. And I feel like somebody here is going to be talking to the other person. See, we got the queen of wands here on the board. Okay. And then we got the lovers. And we got judgment. Ace of swords, ten of wands. Somebody could feel like somebody just does too much. It's just like, I don't know if you are to be taken seriously, if I can take you seriously, if we can move forward or not. It's just like somebody has very scattered energy and they're all over the place. We got let go here and we got shut the, close the door. This person is just not worth your time with this let go energy. Yes, yeah, seven of wands, stay in your ground, be brave, overcome this obstacle. You, it's something that is a tough decision, but you have to do it. Time to let this person go. If you want to recognize victory, positive news though. And victorious. So I feel like that could have something. And somebody could be changing their residence also. This is random. But if you're waiting for news about a house. It's coming in. That is so random. <laughs> but I feel like once you let go. You're going to get rewarded. This is going to feel good. You're going to get rewarded. 
this is the decision that you need to make to put you back in alignment. And I know for some of you guys, for a lot of you guys, you just met this person. But confidence is key. And you can't let people run all over top of you and just try to pretend like they're something they're not. And you're supposed to just take it. If they're lying in the beginning when they just got to know you, can you imagine what the whole relationship is going to be like? And then I feel like somebody here, once you decided to call them out on their crap, they want to argue with you fight and fuss and all that crazy stuff so yeah no and your guardian angel sitting right here blowing the horn and what do they want right under guardian angel is use your intuition to make the wisest decision for your highest good and that's the walk away you got move on like three times so you got secrets a fraud started at the bottom of the deck and then you got move on and let go so y'all know what to do all right, time to put these burdens down. Ten of Wands, the end of a tough cycle. Under that is the Strength card. You're a lot stronger than what you think. Let's go, Virgo. All right, I love you guys. Thanks for being here with me. You want to book a reading? Book it at closer the number two my destiny dot com. To email me, email me at closer the number two my destiny the number one at gmail dot com. Bye, my lovies.